First, I am going to go ahead and install ZMQ. To install ZMQ, you can go to pipe, pip, and uh, search for ZMQ. So, I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here. Press on enter. we have successfully installed ZMQ. Now once we have successfully installed, let's start coding the Python part. So I'm going, I'm just going to open my Visual Studio code and I'm going to name it as, first of all I'm going to navigate. I'm going to create a file name. data so I have my code editor opened now I'm going to start so here is the code for getting the so here is the code for Python part so let let us go through the code for making this video short I have already coded this part so let me explain this so first we are going to import the ZMQ library and then we are going to create a context and we are going to open a socket and uh, in the socket we give it as a rotor socket and this we have to specify test true because we are receiving raw messages from node mcu we have to connect our node mcu to our computer or laptop uh, that is a p2p connection and we have to receive raw messages so i'm going to set this flag as true and i'm going to bind the socket at port number 8080 so i am going to continuously receive the messages that i get from node mcu so this is while true and uh, as it is a multi-part message that we are receiving so i'm using this function receive multi-part and the message has two contents one is the identity or the id which is a hexadecimal uh, it can be hexadecimal or alphabetic or even sequences of numbers and the message body so i'm just going to print it so this this is the code which uh, we use for receiving the raw data from node mcu this this is it so now let's move on to node mcu code uh, using arduino ide okay. so here is the arduino ide and i have uh, uploaded the program here so what this program basically does is uh, it connects to the hotspot that I have uh, turned on on my phone. So I have mentioned the phone ID and password and uh, I have also mentioned the host IP address and the port number. So this port number should match the port number that we have written in the Python program and uh, here is the code for connecting to the Wi-Fi so here I am going to print out the message that hello from ESP8266 so I am going to run the Python program now before that I have to upload the code into my node MCU as you can see I have connected my node MCU to the Arduino IDE and here is the board so as you can see it's node mcu uh, that i have connected and i'm going to upload it first i'm going to compile this it's compiling so there is a little bit of error here and uh, of course so i'm just going to remove the day uh, could be a typing mistake okay i'm going to recompile it compilation is successful i'm going to upload it now so i'm going to click on the arrow button so uploading is started so once the code is successfully updated uh, i'm going to go to my terminal and i'm going to navigate to the directory where i have uh, written the code so as you can see here is the code that i have written uh, receive data dot py python so 
I'm going to run this file now Python receive data as you can see uh, we successfully received message from our node MCU uh, by a P2P method so if you want to receive it uh, by P2P method uh, this process would work 